We're now going to see how does a non-resident alien become a U.S. taxpayer simply by virtue of uh, being in the United States too long. And we'll also see some of the exceptions to this. The, the principal way a, a non-resident alien becomes a U.S. taxpayer is if they're spending too much time in the United States. And, and the, the standard for that is we look at how much, we look at the year in question. So for example, we have a non-resident alien coming to the United States for 2016. We look at how much time, how many days did they spend in 2016 in the United States. And that is equal to one full day for each day they spend here. Then we go back to 2015. We look at how many days they've spent in the United States for 2015. And we divide that by three. So one third of every day that they've spent in the United States for the previous year gets added to the total of days that they've spent in the United States for 2016. Then we go back to the second year, we go back to 2014. We look at the amount of days they've spent here in 2014, and we divide that by six. So, for example, if a, a non-resident alien spends 120 days each year in the United States for 14, 15, and 16, we would have them here for a total of 180 days. That's 120 days in 216. That's 40 days in the year uh, 2015. If they've spent 120 days, we divide that by three. And it's, it's 20 days in the year 2014 divided by six. That's 180 days. So long as the non-resident alien under that standard has not spent more than a total of 180 days in the United States in the year 2016, counting all three of those years, uh, the non-resident alien is, continues to be a non-resident alien taxpayer who's only taxed on their U.S. source income. The moment the non-resident alien under that formula spends more than 182 days in the United States, the non-resident alien becomes a U.S. taxpayer. Now, there are certain exceptions here that uh, are helpful. One is, if a, if a non-resident alien spends only a hundred, spends a full 182 days here in the year 2016. And if they spend days in 15 and 14, which would make them be more than 182 days here in, in 2016. If they have a closer connection to another country, if their home is in another country, if their business is in another country, if their family is in another country, they can, they can have what's called the closer connection exception, which means they spend a full 182 days here and are still not considered to be resident aliens taxable on their worldwide income. There's another exception, and that has to do with, we have many tax treaties all over the world with foreign countries. If you're from a treaty country and you come here and spend more than 182 days here, you may actually still not be considered to be a U.S. resident depending upon the treaty that we have with your country. Under the treaty, we look at several different elements to see were you really here in a in, in a much more permanent position. We look at, do you have a home here? And do you have a home in your own country? If you only have a home in your own country and no home here, 
then you're not going to be a U.S. taxpayer. Same thing, do you have a business? We, we look at several different elements and, and depending upon your, those elements, you may not be a U.S. taxpaying resident even if you spend more than 182 days here, if you're in a treaty country.